Yo, what's going on? Time for the lights to go up, the camera to go on, and for me to spin some of my video gold. You must be new to this channel if you think that's going to happen. <laughs> that's a load of crap. Um, I picked up another thing from uh, from Mike's. You know, Mike's. Uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade. This is Mike's Harder Fruit Punch. I think the fruit punch before was 5% alcohol. This one's uh, 8%. Let's see what it says on the label here. Well, there's no label on the can. It says, Mike's Harder Fruit Punch, uh, made in Rochester, New York, by Mike's Hard Lemonade. Um, registered trademark, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Then it says on here, Mike's is hard, so is prison. Don't drink till you're 21. I just never got that, you know. Uh, when I was growing up, I missed it by a couple of years, but it used to be it used to be 18 to drink, not 21. Um, if you can hold a rifle and go to war, I think you should be able to have a beer. Uh, that's just the way I think. And the same thing with legalizing marijuana. I just think it's ridiculous they don't legalize it. If I had my way, I'd have it on every street corner, sending it, selling it in vending machines. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> and that's that's not where I'm going with this video. Pop it open. Uh, I had a party at Aldi's today. Not like I was like, yeah, showing off my dance moves or anything like that. But I went to the local food store yesterday, and $53 later, I came out with a bag of, of just junk that I needed for the house and like nothing to eat so I went to uh, Aldi's today and I, I had for $40, $40 I got so much stuff at Aldi's so much good food and uh, this is one of the things I want to show you we'll do it after this look familiar now it's not Frank's Red Hot it's bourbons <laughs> it's what they sell at Aldi's a lot of the stuff at Aldi's is complete knockoffs you see the label how it resembles Frank's Red Hot We'll get to that in a bit. But it's 100% guarantee. If you don't like it, you can bring it back. Which is actually kind of cool. I'm done with that Jeremiah Weed stuff. You know, I, I bought it a couple more times. and it, Like I said before, it's not consistent. It's not the same thing every time. Okay, this has a lot of carbonation. That's kind of cool. The problem with these... these fruit punches and fruit drinks. They're just like a malt beverage that, you know, doesn't have no fizz to it. That is excellent. That is really, really good. Huh. I would definitely get this one again. It's sweet, but it's not crazy sweet. Uh, and it tastes a lot better than that Four loco stuff. I was looking at, they had another Four Locos. It was, uh, raspberry or blueberry or something like that and these two are right next to each other and I was like oh I'll give it another shot and then I had this flashback in my head I guess that's what flashbacks with this the noise flashbacks would make I had this flashback of how horrible it was and uh, I, I went and I, I went for mics so I'm kind of glad I did Wow, 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 wow. It's pretty scary, huh? Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, there's nothing going on here, so I figured I'd put a video up. It's my day off. Uh, I was supposed to work yesterday, but uh, man, I got a bad case of the blues. I just, I just didn't want to do it. I've worked six days and seven days the entire summer. I've worked my entire summer away to get myself out of debt. I was in deep debt uh, when I started this spring. And it's like, a, it's like a vicious cycle, you know. The whole winter's lean, you don't make any money, you're, you, you get yourself in debt, and then you spend the whole summer trying to dig yourself out of debt just to have it drop off in another month uh, right back to the way it was. It's just, you know, it's, it's hard, man. So, uh, you get it? <laughs> hard. Wow, 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 wow. It's hard. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, so you know what I said? I'm taking the next two days off, you jackasses. Uh, because, you know, they don't appreciate where I work. They don't appreciate anything you do. Uh, 
they're just there to use you like a cow. They're not sucking video gold out of me. Well, then again, neither are you guys, but, you know, they're getting the best, they're getting the best that they're paying for. But, uh, this is actually really good. Hmm. So let's go ahead and try the phony Frank's Red Hot by Berman's. You know, sometimes you can go in there in, in Aldi's and you can get a loaf of bread for 35 cents. I challenge you to find that somewhere else. I challenge you. Wow, 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 wow. I just really like that noise. I don't know why. I'll shake it up. Give it the benefit of the doubt. It looks pretty good. But then again, I also like Texas Pete, too. The hot sauce. Not like some dude walking around with a cowboy hat and assless chaps or anything like that. That's not my gig, man. That's not my fare. Who are you? I'm Texas Pete. <laughs> Hola. All right. Let's see how this tastes. Looks good. Smells good. Absolutely no difference at all from Frank's Red Hot. And I think, um, Actually, this tastes better than Red Hot. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Well, 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 well. No, it is, it is, it is not blasphemy. What I'm finding out about these uh, Berman products are, yeah, they're knockoffs, but they taste just as good or better than the, uh, the original. Now, here's the difference. Ready for the difference? Well, 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 well. The difference is, this is 99 cents. Frank's Red Hot is almost four bucks. And with this bottle, you get more. So, I figured I'd do a video on Mike's Harder Fruit Punch. Remember, Mike's is hard and so is prison. I'll tell you, man, I, I wouldn't do well in prison. I'm just not a prison kind of guy. I'd probably be somebody's bitch or something like that. Be braiding my hair and shit. I just never want to go to prison. I just, you know, I don't associate with hoodlums, and uh, I don't, I don't think I'd want to go to jail. That's just, you know, some things in this life, you know, you know, whether you want to be a doctor, a fireman, a policeman, uh, iron worker, you want to be in the military or something like that. I just know, I just really don't want to go to prison and be nobody's bitch. If I was somebody's bitch, what would, what would my name be? Hmm. Gotta think that one over. Maybe Crystal. Ooh, my name is Crystal. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. Nah, nah, I just, that whole thing about jail, bunking down with a bunch of dudes, that ain't my thing. I don't like it. Uh, and honestly, I think that's what, I think that's what keeps me honest. I do not want to go to jail under any circumstances for any reason I hear the food's bad you got guys there want to ass rape you I got no time for that I, you know that's like I, I say this in a, a lot of times like it's usually the people who have like 15 kids and I say to myself they must not have had cable or something like that I know I had cable and it's like I don't have any kids I didn't want to run around ass raping people. That's what happens in prison. You don't. You take away the cable TV from people, and they run amok. They can't breathe, so they're running around ass raping people. Uh, oh my God! What a horrible thought that would be. I want your beef raviolis. I don't want to give you my beef raviolis. How about I ass rape you? All right, you can have my beef raviolis. And then that's when they sense the weakness. Next thing you know, you got pigtails in your hair, some dude's braiding your hair, and you're somebody's bitch. So, uh, wow. What an interesting video. Well, you know, it is what it is. That's the videos I make. Uh, you love them or you hate them, there's no in-between. Later.